Get out here. I'm not hiding, this is just how I go. Okay, and here we are. Hey, this is Cole, and we are starting up a new game, um, continuing an old one. Uh, this is season two of Telltale's The Walking Dead. It's worth noting that if you weren't here for all of S1, then uh, you're not screwed. This mostly picks up with its own story, uh, things that... Uh, you might have recognized or, you know, it would benefit you to know what happened in, in uh, season one. I will uh, let you know about it. I will be your guide. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Episode five. Let me change my. <laughs> oh, there we go. Save files. I'm, I'm a mess. I'm distracted by current events. I apologize. Yeah, let's do this save file. Okay, which save slot? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So this will even give us a little recap at the Please beginning here. On The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? <laughs> I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine! Clementine! Exposed to what she has been with you. We, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. But don't need it, Krista. So yeah, the bummers are gone forever. It's all uphill from here. Hey there, Jala. Hi, Leon. Yo, B Mac and Pickle Facts and Andrew. Hi, Psalm 109. What do you think? Oh, Midge, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not <laughs> calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omi Jr. No. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. <laughs> I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? 
You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously, especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. So she settled into a new family. Hello? That bowl got hemispheres. What's that? It's a toy for the new baby. I mean, all I can think is Lee was too weak to shoot himself. <sighs> Liam asked why, why Lee made Clem do it when it could be, uh, it would have been less, uh, less horrifying. said a bad word. That's what she would have said to Lee. No, nope, wrong one. <laughs> Which one's it in? I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Come on out now. Leave me alone. Don't think I will. Why not? Are you stupid or something? Get out here. I'm not hiding. This is just how I go. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. Just walk away. Whatever. Give me that hat. No! Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. 
I killed someone for it. You? Kill? <laughs> Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. So, yeah. It's only fun to make clever comments when something tragic didn't just happen. Krista, talk to me. I, uh... This will never work. Look at that. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. There's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire, so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... We need to find a group. People we can trust. We've been on our own for too long. Trust? You think you can trust someone out here? Not now. Not anymore. Yeah, Omid was my favorite too, Tauhatastic. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Wellington's a long way from here. We just need to keep moving north. So we sh it's, it probably doesn't bear pointing out specifically, but there's no there's no baby. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Krista. <sighs> I 
Hi, Control Alt Noob. Um, they ask if I am playing this blind. Uh, no, I've played the first four episodes of this season, uh, but I have not done so in a while, and I remember much less about this than uh, season one. So, three quarters. I'm playing it one quarter blind, let's say. Poor bunny. Better, but still not enough. The flames are too low. The flames aren't high enough. This will never cook. might burn let's see here are there any sticks or something this won't burn Ooh, synthetics. These will burn. This will never burn. It's too wet. All right. Let's, uh... Let's see here. I'm afraid if I add a log, it'll just... Shit, lady. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. She's not saying. What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey. Walkers. Yeah, enjoy that infection, fucko. Leave me alone! She's after a fucking kid. Bite! She crunch. Are you fucking kidding me? 
வருவது I hope I wash up under that bridge with Christopher Lloyd from Dennis the Menace. That was a dumb reference, I'm sorry. So, here we are, downstream in North Carolina. This is the one with the fuck up brothers. Oh, if you thought Ben was bad. <laughs> Well, that walker's been there for a while, at least. So, the wood is full of dangerous critters. Gotcha. Let's see. Climb over this. First time Clem's been alone, really, since Lee rescued her. That would have been, what, two and a half, three years ago? Something like that?
Oh, hey, it's a dog named Sam. It's okay, boy. It's okay. Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. What's he doing? <coughs> Sam! Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! Guys, I don't feel very good about Sam's chances. Bulgy. Something to open it with. It's botched genie wish. Let's see. Looks like it's been here for a while. Looks like they were a happy family once. Ah, geez. Yeah, no, Sam's just kind of hung around here to, waiting for his family for a long time. That is a... That is a stone-cold mm, bummer. Nothing edible. Yeah, you, know, you can boil her. Might be some nutritious glues. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we'd better not wait around to find out. Wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. Animals are too good for us. Thank you for popping in, Control Noob. Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? It's not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. I think scavengers would have really wanted a good lightweight tent like that. What's the matter, Sam? Ah, jeez. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. You're smarter than all of them. That looks like it hurt. I bet we could 
could open the can with that, though. I'd wash it first. Hey, it's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? Uh, what? There we go. Stand back, okay? God, that, that dog is emaciated. out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Let's open our big can of family style. Please don't be bad. Yeah, I think, well, you know, there are many things that I'd be bad about living in that situation, but any kind of survival situation where, where, where you're <sighs> sufficing on canned food. I guess you're pretty hungry, too. Here you go. That, uh, that turned quick. Ah, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna have to put a warning at the beginning of this. Oh, god damn, it's eyes. Fuck! Sorry. Wow. Oh, they're gonna. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam.
Trevor, let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get. Uh. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I... I think so. So now we have to convince them that a dog bit me and not a walker. What are you doing out here? Where are the uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I'm alone. Everyone I know is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry to hear that. I just lost a sister. We've all lost folks. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi, I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <laughs> what? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog. <laughs> Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm, all right. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Serious. I, I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you <laughs> Hey, she <I> don't know. <laughs> attacked me. Still, He's gonna kill me. Come on. You don't kill dogs. Well, it's not like I was in full control of the situation, dick. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You looked me in the eyes when you answered. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she going to say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't going to like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Yeah, you might want to start shooting straight with Pete, Nick, or whatever your name is, Luke. Hey, Cabin. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. 
Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. Oh, right, it's Dr. Badass. It was too good to live. <laughs> It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. <sighs> hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> no. I that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. No. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would. If it means saving her life. Then You're a doctor, right? Aren't you supposed to help people that are hurt? That's what he's trying to do. That's not what I meant. I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. He'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. I understand you're scared. And I feel terrible delaying treatment. But we've got to be sure. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But, yeah, we can't do that. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... Cool, it's a good thing nothing else will infect me and give me a fever in the morning. I'm sorry. Cool. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all God right. damn it, Nick. His mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. Maybe you could let me go? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Make a game of it, Clem. Try and guess how many stitches they're going to give you, and see if you're over or under. If you live.
Liam says, I only played the first season, but I like the group dynamic of these characters a lot more so far. There are some of them that are a little, little bit too comically evil for me. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Oof. No shame on them for not for not turning out my pockets. Right on my dog wound. Let's see here. Okay, so I need a needle, some peroxide, and some bandages. This is OSP, or on-site procurement. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. So yeah, Alvin's a good guy. some lurker which you probably are you can't be here you gotta get out of here you understand get back into that shed and carlos will take care of you in the morning i can tell that you're nice i ain't nice i saw when everyone was arguing you wanted to help you didn't see anything look you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you i'm serious you gotta go I got enough problems already. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just tired. You're not with Carver. No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person. No. I'll do anything I can to help your situation. Anything. Except leave me alone. Yeah, I guess. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? Yes. 
What do you need? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. I found you some bandages. And I, uh, I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. Alvin is solid. And I'm not just saying that because I can manipulate him. Let's see. Is there a crawl space I can get into? Uh, front door is probably a little bit too hopeful. Yeah. Let's see. Are there any windows that I can listen at? Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Is that a body? Could be, we don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she's out here alone. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and you've got her Okay. At least Alvin is advocating for me.
Now, where would Carlos be keeping the medical supplies? sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. Kind of burns. I don't know if he has stuff for sewing, though. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. Ah shit, she's gonna she's gonna say my name later. We're friends. <laughs> right? We can be best friends. Fuck. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be. Oh, the she's gonna get eaten alive. Rebecca's okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to like be my friend. And then I'll be super old. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Come on, I said yes. It's not the same. Oh, Jesus. I promise. Yes or no? Oh, Carlos. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> I, I, I love this. I love... I, I, I love the contrast between, <laughs> between Clem and Sarah. Whatever. Oh. See if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. Yeah, the decisions I made in season one were to avoid Clem turning into that. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry, I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Ha! <laughs> Sewing tomato. It's clean. I guess that's all I need. I better get out of here. Let me in some time. <laughs> Let 
terrifying feeling being out of bounds like this. Treat for later. This is going to suck. <laughs> okay, so. I just wish it was better. <laughs> Back out. Sterile AF. No. Just like last time. Just how Crystal showed me. Bite on the rubber hammer handle. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
Didn't get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? <laughs> this doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Yeah, they wouldn't have let me leave. They think I'm working Bring with Carver. And I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Yeah, I shouldn't trust Nick with the rifle. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Well, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all.
Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... <sighs> we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Can you let yourself heal up? Take some time to sort things out. Do you have that authority? Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. Well, which I mean, set? I assume what happened to them <laughs> is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? It seems solid. Oh, you're still here. Hmm. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. Don't talk to me like that. For what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. 
Well, you got it. Now go. I'm sorry, okay? It's too late for that. I knew the moment you showed up, you'd be a problem. Stay the hell away from my husband. Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? <sighs> gonna gonna keep the infidelity card in my back pocket. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Well, he <laughs> nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always <laughs> giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Let's just get to the river. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Well, I know we I know where we can find some bullets. Can I help? 
Cartridges okay. might be a different story. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissant match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You no, know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Uh. Same deal. Be shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. What happened to you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! <coughs> Please. Fine. Just just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo! Listen to me, damn! Come on! And there we go. What are you going to do? Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? 
One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Oh. All right. Uh, let's see here. Do we try to save Krista? Yes. Along with the majority. There we go. That's good. Uh, did you mercy kill the dog? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Charles, did you accept Nick's apology? Yep. That was the only way to do it. Um, did you give water to the dying man? No. I am a bastard, along with one third of people who played the game. And did you save Nick or Pete? I'm in the slight majority by going after Pete. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow night with more of this, 8.30 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. You hold your oh, there are lyrics. Yeah, that's life is that's uh that's that that's not ideal. <laughs> One moment. Oh there we go. Now we have lowered it. Cool. Um yeah, so you know what to do if you're watching here on Twitch. Follow, subscribe. Do you like PC Gamer did three days ago? Subscribe with Prime. You're watching on YouTube. Like, rate, subscribe, all that goofy stuff. All right. Well, take care, everybody. I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful Saturday.